Live from the wherever um, the board game room. It's the insane board game freak show with your host me. The insane board game freak. Oh, come on, let's go everybody. In this episode, the high stakes dice game of bounty and burglary. Burgle your way to saving the day. Collect, protect, and steal. 20 furry dice inside. In this episode, it's Fargulars. Quick, to the board game room. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's Fargulars. And in this game, you're gonna get these cute little furry dice, but you're going to get 17 more of them because there's 20 inside. Ask him. He's the one stealing them all. Say, how many did you get? Three or more than three? There's some pouncing out of the bag right now. All right. None of your business, kid. Just keep him over. What do you mean, none of my business? You're a furgular. We're going to have to arrest you. All right, so they have this, like, weird shape kind of uh, box to it. Pretty cool. Um, they got these gold and silver and, I don't know, uh, bronze bars or something like that. Pretty cool. They look like the little soap that you get in the old Barbie doll uh, play sets. I mean, I never played with Barbies when I was a kid, but my sister did, you know. Okay, I used to pop the heads off the Ken dolls, okay? No, I wasn't jealous. I was just, you know, why, why the heck would I be jealous of Barbie? Jeez. I mean, she only had a Malibu house. Okay, anyway, I'm just kidding about all that. You got these dice, these cute little furry little dice in here. Notice how some of them have X's on them, okay? No, they're not satanic. I don't even know why I said that. I had nothing else stupider to say. <laughs> Alright, everything here is good, okay? Everything here, it's all good. It's all good stuff. God bless all my board games, okay? <laughs> and yours too, viewers at home, or wherever you are, if you're on a bus stop, at the mall, you know, in a movie theater, alright? Then you get these cards here, Okay? I know, right? If the movie's not that great, you're going to end up watching the insane board game freak show, right? <laughs> and everybody's going to be crowding around you in, in the theater. You're going to take it to the arcade and the food stands. All right, so now um, you got the um, these cards here. These are your character cards you can play as. Your, your Fergals, okay? So, bullion. All right, your bullions. Bull, remember um, that movie Cabin Boy? Bull, bullion, bull, bull yum, bull yum. He's trying to give me some bull yum. Give me some. Oh, I guess he means chum. <laughs> that was a good part. All right, so I got uh, more dice in here, but I'm just gonna show you these. I'm gonna keep those in there. How I kept them in there, looking like that, is I just put tape on it on the back of the box, and then um. Just kept them stored in there like that. But you could take them out if you, you know, tape them up like that. Just tape like a little flap. I kind of improvised, you know. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. It, 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 it's nothing really, you know. All right, so let's get to the play of the game. Okay, so the object of the game is to capture, steal, and protect as many Fergals as possible to collect bullion po points, Okay. So instead of billion points or billion bank, you get your bank here, and you gotta have like how many you gotta need to roll or something like that for these. But look, th these dice are really feather light, and um, they're okay, I guess, for what you need to do with them. You know, all you need to do is roll them. You know, but they're cool though because you get a lock on it, you get an X, you get a Fergal, you know, little critter in there, and you get the hand. I think this one means steal. This one means they're locked, so you can't get it. 
Any X might mean lose a turn, but let's find out. So you're going to organize all your, your gold, silver, and bronze. Okay. And, uh, you know, I guess pearl or something like that. But this is what they equal. So your Fergal to Bullion conversion chart is going to be like this. So for these, you're going to get one Fergal. Okay. Uh, for the silver, you get two um, Fergals. All right. Three for three. No, um, and um, three for the four. For the gold one, you're going to get three. And then for four Fergals, you're going to get um, this baby right here. You get this one. All right. So I guess that's platinum. I don't know. But anyway, it's it. So you get these cards here. And you're going to get this uh, Fergals marker here, this chart. All right. And um, some funky looking characters here. I don't know why, but they're, they're almost got like that. That like I look between like the mix a mix between like the Hamburglar and like um, the Fat Albert crew in that old cartoon show if you remember. So, uh, the mysteries of the dice. Now, you're gonna set up the game like each player picks a character card and places it face up in front of them. Okay, and takes a set of furry Fergal dice. So. For it depends on how many players are playing, that's the amount of dice that you get that each player gets. So, like two players, five Fergal dice, three to five players, four Fergal dice, and six players get three Fergal dice. All right, so now you're gonna set aside any leftover dice. Players place all their dice X up. So, you're gonna put, let's just say, we're playing with uh, two players, and we got like five dice here. So you're going to set them all up, X up. All right. I'm going to set aside these dice. Put them back in the box. And I'll play... Uh, I don't know. I'll get these two characters. They seem to be like the star of the show. Because, um, you know, they're on the box, so... All right, so I'm back. And um, I took a big break, kind of. <laughs> I forgot what the heck I was talking about here. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, um, you're going to set aside any leftover dice. Players place all of their dice X, X side up. Place all bullion bars on the bullion bank card according to value. Decide who goes first. All right, so you're going to place these all here. So the silvers go here. All right, uh, bronze here, gold here, the Jeopardy music is playing, do, 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 do. come on Vin, grandma can go faster than that, <laughs> all right, so now, <laughs> stop laughing at me. Okay, so, um, meanwhile, two days later, <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose, alright, um, so you got this, um, the, the five dice here, okay, like that, and you got the setup like that, alright, now you got other players playing, whatever, I'm, I'm using two players, and, um, jeez, what a really big glare from that light. All right, so, you guys, you never saw the ceiling, did you? That's the ceiling. That's my ceiling, yeah. Isn't that cool? The games, the board games go all the way up to the ceiling. And everybody's gonna pause it and look at all the games I got now and, like, you know, enlarge it with the fingers, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, cool, he's got that game. Yes, I got the game. All right, so anyway. Um, the mysteries of the dice. Fargles. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fargles, okay. Now, um, 
Keep Fargles to exchange for bullion points at the beginning of your next turn. All right. Locks. The locks. No, not Nova locks. These you don't put on your bagels. All right. Yo, these you don't put the, these locks on your New York bagels, you know? You put the uh, the regular Nova locks in your New York bagels. Huh? So, then you got your hands. The hands. The hands. All right. Um, the hands. Uh, one hand may break one any one lock, or may steal one Fergal if no locks are protecting it. Okay. Hands. Okay. X's. No action. There's no action for the X's. Okay. All right. So now here we go. The gameplay. Example of the gameplay would be okay, as follows. Round one. Each player starts with an empty character card. Okay. So your character cards are gonna be empty like this. Don't say like me head. There's cobwebs in there, but it's not empty. <laughs> I'm kidding. You gotta laugh, put yourself a joke around. But enough fun and games. Make your move. You may keep any Fergals and locks you roll and place them on your character card, okay? So if you if you have any locks, if you roll any locks or Fergals, you're gonna put them on your character card here, okay? Like that. Alright, so now, um, with each hand icon that you roll, you may break one lock. So you could break a lock if you roll a hand. And um, on any other player's card. So that's pretty cool. So if you roll the hand, you could break a lock on any other player's card. Um, or steal one unprotected Fergal from any player. So you can grab a Fergal. Alright. Um... Now, uh, you do not have to steal Fergals on or break locks from just one single player. Target as many players as you want, as long as you have the hands to do it. So, if you got a lot of these hands that you rolled, then you could take from any other players too. You know, more than one player. And do your thing. Okay, so now... Um, when you break another player's lock, place the die X side up in front of you, meaning that you broke the lock, okay, of another player. Now, um, when you steal another player's Fergal, you have place it onto your character card. So if you steal a Fergal from somebody, place it on your character card, all right? Um, pass the dice. Pass all dice except for Fergals and locks on your character card. So if you have any dice in your character cards, because that those are the ones that you kept because they were a Fergal or a lock that you broke, keep them on your character card, and then use the other dice on the table and roll those. You're gonna pass those, okay, to your left. Continue this way until all players have taken their first turn. Round two and rounds beyond. Fergals are worth bullion points. That is only if you manage to hold onto any Fergals by the time your next turn begins. So, collect your bounty. Before you roll a dice, start your turn by cashing in any Fergals that remain on your card for bullion points from the bank. Okay? And, um, roll a dice. Roll all of the dice in front of you, including all dice that may have been passed to you by previous players, or Fergals that you had at the beginning of your turn, which were sold for bullion points. Okay? Um... Uh, I forget. Oh, yeah, try, okay. You can get, like, locks that you may have had on your card at the beginning of your turn. Make your move and repeat, you know, um, the different moves I just mentioned. And pass the dice. Repeat, you know, pass the dice section I read. Yeah, you know, that, that I told you about. <laughs> the win. The first to collect 15 bullion points wins the game. And in a two-player game, the first to collect 21 points wins. Um, so now, here's like an example of the game. Like, it's it's uh, it, it's your turn. And you start 
you know, your turn by collecting two bullion points for the two Fergals on your character card, right? So now um, you then roll eight dice in front of yourself, and then you get three hands, two Fergals, one lock, and two Xs. You immediately place the Fergals and lock that you rolled onto your character card, okay? So now note that the other player has one lock and one Fergal on their card, and um, the other player, the third player, has two Fergals, no locks on, on their card. So you yourself now, you're the first player. You, you break the second player's lock, one lock with one hand, rotate both dice to do the X side, and place them in front of yourself. All hands and locks are always turned X side up and added to the pass pile, all right? So now you steal second player's Fergal and place it on your character card. Now the first player, which is you, you steal one of the third player's Fergals and place that on your character card as well. And you end your turn with four Fergals and one lock on your character card, then pass the six remaining dice to the player to your left. All right, so that's it. So the optional X factor, add an X, an extra, get it, extra. So um, an extra twist to the game by creating a special, come on, that was funny. <laughs> add an extra twist to the um, game by creating a special advantage for players who roll all X's, okay? The example of that is if you roll all X's on your turn, all the characters must give you any locks they have on their character card. You then roll a dice as a, a bonus roll. If there are no locks in play, no bonus roll for you. So, um, did you make up your own X Factor? Okay, yes or no? We'd like to know about it, okay? So, or they would, or whatever, I would. I, I really don't mind. <laughs> so, let's go see your final thoughts about the game. All right, so, let's see what my final thoughts about the game. What do I think about this game? Fargles is cool. I like the game. It's a cool dice game. The dice are really creative. I like the way they look. I like the way, you know, they, they, they feel, you know, light, really light, and like light as a feather. But I think it's so cute. And it's adorable how they have the little um, furry creatures inside them. And, uh, you know, they're, they're green little furry critters inside the dice. <laughs> it's, it's cool. I like it. It's a cool concept, you know. I like that mechanism of dice play with this. And then it, it determines whether it's a steel, a lock that you break. If you have any hands, you know, you can lock, unlock many locks on the, on the playing board and on the table of other players, which is cool. I like that. I like how you could take the Fergals, the Fergals, and you get to kidnap them and put them into the uh, your player card, or whatever, and you you, you bag them up. <laughs> so, but I, I like the game. It's cool. It's fun. The uh, bullion bank is cool. I like that. It, it it makes it easier and everything for the setup. And uh, now I gotta talk really loud because my family's pets are, uh, you know, somebody must have walked in. So, um, or I gotta see. Wait, I gotta go. They they're about to get stolen. They're gonna get kidnapped. I'm here to protect you. <laughs> no, they're, 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 they're fine. They're just acting up. But anyway, um, that that's pretty much it. That's um, it's it's a cool, fun game. I recommend it. It's cool for kids and a family. It's a quick, fast-paced game. It's cool and fun, and fun, and easy to learn. And that's pretty much basically it. So that's the um, the Fergalers, uh dice game. Uh, that's it for today. Everybody looks. This game is over. Board game freak out. Wait a minute, I forgot to have my wristbands on. I mean, what kind of tradition is that when I don't have my wristbands on and do the ending and say board game freak out. Get it? I mean, come on. That's my trademark, man. It's my specialty.
That's it for that's the Fergulars. That's it for Terry. By looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. I gotta keep it real, man.